Hello, my name is William James. I'm the host of the Bald Book Geek. I hope all of you are well. All of my links in the doobly-doo, as always. I want to talk about Jay Kristoff's new novel, which is out in September. Now, this is just a reaction video. I've not read the ARC. I haven't even heard back from the publisher yet. And knowing um, Harper's Voyager, they're not going to send me the ARC because it's Harper's Voyager. Yes, I'm bitter. Um, <laughs> they've never actually sent me an ARC. So that's always fun. So I've had to beg, borrow and steal. So first things first, the UK gets the better cover as always. There is no way around it. We get the better cover with the beautiful black and white line illustration rather than the god-awful American thing that looks like the American versions of the Nevernight books, which I cannot stand. Um, I know, I know. Brits do it better, though. So, yeah. Um, so what is the synopsis? The Empire of the Vampire is book one of a trilogy, obviously. It is not a YA novel. It is not new adult. New adult does not exist. This is an adult novel. And basically, the last summarise for three decades, vampires have waged a war against humanity, building their entire empire, even as they tear down our own. Now, with only a few sparks of light, emergency of darkness, a member of the Holy Brotherhood, dedicated to defeating the realm and church, the creatures of the night, and oh my god, this looks amazing. Imprisoned by the very monsters he vows to destroy, the last silver saint is forced to tell his story. A story of legendary battles, of forbidden love, lost faith, and friendships won. Of the wars of blood and the forever king, and the quest for humanity's last hope, the Holy Grail. I'm already slightly... Um... <laughs> I'm already hyped for this right now. I there was one. I, th I think Jay Kristoff on Goodreads is hilarious. Basically, he's put Empire of the Vampire is not for children. It's basically what would happen if Interview of the Vampire hooked up with the Name of the Wind in an S and M in an S and M club, while eight seasons of Game of Thrones streamed in the background continuously, not simultaneously. It is not a book for children. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Like, I just, I adore this kind of fantasy horror. And I'm in for this. Jay Kristoff is a great writer. It's, honestly, he's a love it or you'll hate it writer. His writing style is very Marmite. There is no way around it. You're either going to love it or you'll hate it. But you know what? For all the naysayers, I get on with his writing style. I like very blunt writing, and I like the sort of fl uh, flowery world building he does. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to so much about this book. And I need a good bloody epic horror novel to get my teeth into, in all fairness, because... I, I won't lie. I, I, need, I need it. <laughs> And like always, people are already listing the signed version for £100 plus on eBay. Now, this is really shitty, and I don't like this resale culture. The thing is, the current publishing industry is very much like the comic book industry of the 90s. Endless special editions, and people get bored with them. <laughs> um... There is no way around that. People get bored with them. And it does get a little bit old. And it gets very annoying. I get why it exists. But, yeah, just, um, yeah, I just, I have a rule of thumb that for me as a reader, I I won't go out there and buy special editions. If I get a signed copy, that's really nice. But I'd rather read the book and, you know, I, the value for a book for me is what's inside. And I think it's really shady with the resellers. And what I mean, I've already had people, well-known people, who I'm not going to name, because I'm not that basic, unlike them, begging me for my ARC of Nevernight. Like, no. No, go away. You cannot have it. It's mine. Um, get over yourselves. You know, I'm not that stupid. 
and I don't like that. I mean, I've had a very well-known person offer me about four or five hundred dollars for it. I had someone offer me a thousand dollars for it, and I've said no each time because there's more sentimental value to that book, that ARC. It was my first. Jay Kristoff is part of the reason I kept going with YouTube because I found Nevernight and I've never been so happy in my life, believe it or not, for a Goodreads giveaway. And <laughs> I cannot wait. I want my fantasy dripping in blood and guts and some S&M sex and I want sex, violence and rock and roll. And I want to come out the other side and say, fuck it, I love it. I mean, I adore his writing. I, I, Like I said, he's he a perfect writer? No. Is the publisher behind this book kind of crass? Yes. But I said it before, I'll say it again. I adore it and I'm really hyped. I mean, I'm still kind of gutted that Nevernight hasn't been turned into um, a Netflix original or, or a series or a film or something because it's so much better than crap like Six of Crows. It's so much better, so much more intense. My problems here, I got tr in trouble for saying that, by the way. <laughs> um, Piera um, did, Piera did a mini concept thing for YouTube. It was really cool. I reviewed it. Um, she followed me for about two weeks and then un ceremoniously unfollowed me. And... Um, I made it private because I don't deal with people who unfollow me. But it was good. It was very good. My only real concern is the fact that the sale, the resell and all of this. Look at what happened with Nevernight. Look at the mess surrounding those countless special editions and the push-up of value. I think publishing industry needs to move away from these special editions because they're gouging you for money at the end of the day. That's the only reason they do it. it it's not difficult. It's not hard. That's the reason they do it. And I mean, Walter, my, Walter Stones in England was selling the signed limited edition of the first edition, limited edition of Dark Dawn for like five pounds. <laughs> I ended up buying a few copies of that to give to people. I mean, it was ridiculous because there were so many. And the thing is, these books don't move in huge numbers. And I know they're trying to buy the audience that wouldn't normally... Because the publisher doesn't care that you read the book, like it or don't like it. They just want you to buy it. They want to make money. And that's why I... It's like... They just care about sales, and that's why. And at the end of the day, companies have to make money. But I think special editions, we're going to have a burnout like the comic books industry of the 90s. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's enough of me rambling. Tell me what you think. Are you as excited about this as I am? Because holy shit. And um, tell me what you think in the comments below. As always, bye.